the Encore azaleas are multi-bloomers, so they bloom kind of throughout the, the summer and spring to sum, summer to fall. And then the October Glory maples will be a brilliant red, orange to red color in the fall. And then with the cherry trees, they will have our spring color. So we're really kind of set for year-round year -round beauty. Well, before we were even married and when we were engaged and we'd come to Macon and he had, um, his brother lived in this neighborhood, we'd always ride down the Prado. And I always remember thinking, gosh, that's the cutest street. I love the islands. The houses are so charming. And his mother would always say, oh my gosh, I remember when I was a little girl, it was full of azaleas. I mean, you just couldn't even see past all the pink. And so we thought, gosh, well, you know, that's such a neat area. Let's make it beautiful again. Let's restore it. And older neighbors who have been on the street 30 plus years showed us a scrapbook of what it used to look like. And I mean, it was just covered in azaleas and little trees. And so we thought, it's not that hard. Let's do it. And we did. Well, it's been a year long Actually, process was, so far. Yeah. It was last year Christmas party. We all decided we're going to replant the islands. Let's do it. And we had a good, a good little turnout at a Christmas party down the street. And so we got everybody's name and number. We printed up this little flyer, passed it out, um, kind of describing what we wanted to do, what our, our plan was, and then we um, included on the next page a, a picture of the plan, what it will look like eventually with the maple trees and the cherries and all the azaleas. And at the bottom they could kind of fill out this and give us their address and what they wanted to contribute if they planned to volunteer. And, Everybody loved it. We had a great turnout and a lot of people showed up to support financially and doing the work, so it turned out really great. Yesterday we met in our front yard at 9 a.m. We had coffee and bagels and juice and we looked at Watson's plan that he had mapped out a certain way, you know, trees and bushes where they ought to be and not just scattered randomly. So we set a game plan up. We had lots of shovels, lots of pairs of gloves, and the, the men were going ahead of us and digging the holes and then the women were coming behind and filling in with the azaleas and I bet you we had 15 or 20 neighbors out and then some of the elderly neighbors who couldn't really help were on their front porches watching and offering support. It was, it was really sweet. Irrigation was huge and if we hadn't had the irrigation we couldn't have done the job so it was so great of the city to support us and to get out here just as soon as we asked and start working to repair the irrigation which hadn't been on for years. I mean, um, I want to say five, six or seven years it had been just sitting here. So they got to work and it started working right away. And because of that, we were able to um, get the plants in.